everybody. I'm back at my YouTube channel. Sorry it took a hot minute. I'm going to do the question and answer CP video. Now please remember, this is only my experience. I can only go off of my situation. It's going to be different for everybody. So again, you are going to hear my mom's voice. She is asking the questions. So let's get started. The first question that came in, I had Bell's palsy, facial nerve basically dies. How is that similar and or different to CP? Um, this question I actually have been asked before. I've never had Bell's palsy, so I don't know. Um, my face isn't affected, so hope that helps. Okay, the next question. Do you have pain with cerebral palsy? Um, no, not really. I mean, I wish I could give you guys like an indefinite answer. I have arthritis, but that's a totally different thing. That actually has nothing to do with cerebral palsy. Okay. What is the hardest thing to do with cerebral palsy? What is the hardest, yeah, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the hardest thing you've had to do? Well. I'd have to say the cow, putting the cowboy boot, the high cowboy boots on. Okay, you cannot give. Oh, excuse me, okay. My mother would say <laughs> watching me put cowboy boots on, but that's my version of high heels, so I'm willing to take a long time to do it, because that's the closest thing I'll get to high heels. But I would say my hardest thing with CP was every time I'd have surgery, I'd have to relearn how to do stuff. And when you come out of surgery, you're really freaking stiff. Of course, I'm obviously not going to carry like a glass plate because glass plus walker equals boom. So I guess that would be hard, but the hardest thing is usually after surgery, learning how to do everything again. Next one, can someone with CP get a massage or is touch painful? Yes, I can get a massage. It's not painful at all. I just personally don't like my feet touched. I think feet are gross. I don't understand why people like feet massages. And that's just my personal, like, Thing. I'm not trying to dog anybody that wants their feet rubbed or likes it. I just don't like it personally, but that has nothing to do with CP. If you have kids, or will they be affected by cerebral palsy because you have it? No, if I have a child, they will not be affected by cerebral palsy. My condition happened three days after my birth. Um, I had a brain aneurysm for lack of a better word, and it popped and affected the part of my brain that says, this is how you walk. So no, if I have kids, they will not be affected. Okay, next one. As a mom, I am trying to teach my kids diversity, inclusion, and just generally to be loving and accepting of others. As a person with a disability that is visible, how is, it, how is the best way you like to address questions from kids. They start they start to come to an age where they notice different things than others, and sometimes it comes out as at the wrong time. But we always talk about it in a positive way. I try to expose them to people of all walks of life, or in your case, wheels. But how do you like to approach kids when they ask you question, and was school hard on you? Okay, um, the kid question first, because I actually get that quite a bit. Um, usually kids just come up and say, again, they have no filter, so they just come up and say, hey, why do you walk like that? Which I don't mind at all. I would rather kids come up and ask. It doesn't bother me. I do, when they ask me a question, if they're down low, I try to get at their eye level, that way they feel that it's important. You know, they are getting my one-on-one -on -one answer and it doesn't feel like a big adult overpowering them. But what I have noticed 
is when the kid asks me the question and the parent is usually in the corner going, what she say? Can I listen? I want to ask that question, but I'm afraid to. So for everybody, if you meet me somewhere and I'm not busy and you have a question, please come up and ask. I will not bite your head off. The only thing I will ask is if we're like out and about, can we sit down and be at eye level? Cause I'm, I'm a shorty. I'm only five foot. So I really don't like looking up at people. Was hard school on you? Was school hard on you? Um, it was in middle school because I didn't get bullied or anything like that. It was just hard in the sense that, you know, when you're going to middle school, you're learning, you have uh, eight classes and that, that was difficult at first. Um, so yeah, that was difficult, but I overcame that and I actually became my middle school's first handicap or cheerleader that walked differently, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, high school, really simple, really easy. Could have graduated early had they told me. I didn't know that till I was literally about to graduate. So yeah, that's, I guess, all the questions. If you guys have any more, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you can leave the question if you have one for CP in the comments below. Bye guys.